You know, I don't believe Eva knows this story. I met her at an open house in the neighborhood, and I was very impressed by the way she conducted herself because she had such a great passion about the work. She felt like someone who had a sense of responsibility or duty. And then when it came time for us to make the decision to leave California, she was the first person we thought of. Jim and I moved back to the LA area because I got a job with the Walt Disney Company in Burbank. I had this criteria, and the number one criteria was, I have to get to work in 30 minutes or less. At first we were looking on the west side, and then we found this house. We just fell in love with it instantly. So we bought it, the rest is history. To have the best times, we didn't have to go out. We love to bring different people together from different walks of life. That's something that Jim and I have done our entire 20 year marriage. And this is just such a great place to do that. Really help people feel welcomed and safe and have a sense of joy and fun. Uh, our memories are all really based on bringing community together. Most of my life I've had corporate jobs and sometimes really big corporate jobs and I've, I've loved it, but I've always also had this creative side of me. I think the older I got, the more I realized if I devoted more energy toward my creative pursuits, it was just a more joyful experience. And so this whole move is because I decided to take a, a giant leap. I, I don't know how it's going to go. And I know that I have a lot of ideas and it was not possible for me to work these big jobs in corporate at the same time. I don't have a real solid plan. <laughs> I called it my creative sabbatical so that I could really pursue it full time. Um, but maybe the sabbatical will just be who I am. Selling a house, buying a house, it's a very stress-filled situation. Eva understands that. There's something about the way she walked us through the process and how clear she was. She was so patient, she was very kind. She was just there for us every step and it just put us at ease. She didn't jump into a sales pitch. She actually wanted to know what my expectations were. How do you want to feel throughout the process and then on the other side of the process? And I really, really appreciated that. It made me feel cared for to know that she was anticipating the needs that we had. We got eight offers. She texted me. She walked through them, made it easy for us to digest what steps to take when you have eight offers and how to do it very respectfully for us, but also for the prospective buyers. She could forecast things so well. That was something that will forever stand out in my mind. And the other thing I liked about her is that she didn't make promises that you didn't have the utmost confidence that she was going to keep. What's next for us? I launched a fine jewelry business called Stone by LaTondra. Now I find myself having jewelry in several high-end boutiques. We are just temporarily moving to Cincinnati, Ohio, and then we're going to move to Santa Fe. And if my husband can survive the altitude, then that may be our next home. <laughs> I vowed to myself that I was gonna live a very honest life, and so I don't give compliments where I don't believe them. I would recommend Eva to anyone at any time for anything. <laughs>